Hey everybody, this is Tony the Gun Guy with ConcealedArmsHomeDefense.com. Tonight I got two firearms here. I wanted to talk about them and just kind of give you a little bit of uh, information about the differences between the two. They're both 12 gauge semi-automatic, 20 inch barrel, magazine fed 12 gauge shotguns. One is made, this one here, by Emperor Arms and the other one you might recognize it because it's been around for a long long time I'm from if I'm not mistaken this is the uh, company pretty much that started with the uh, magfed AR style uh, magfed shotguns MKA 1919 match pro this is an older picture as you can see uh, this is the very newest model and uh, I've done a video on this gun before but tonight I just brought it out just to kind of show you the difference between this gun and this noble one from Emperor. Uh, right off the bat, you can see that the Emperor, you get a little cheesy old uh, manual here printed out on computer paper. Whereas the MKA 1919, you have a professional looking manual and uh, it's in color. But Emperor Arms, I've been dealing with them for a while. They're in Fort Myers. And just like this company is in Fort Myers, the uh, Gary Saw is the uh, importer, and the importer for this is Sark Distributors. And Sark Distributors, I've never had a problem with them, so it's a one-year warranty, but it's just printed out on uh, computer paper. So let me move this out of the way. So um, basically, there's not too much differences between these guns. They're again. Uh, 12 gauge semi-automatic magazine fed they both come with five round mags and I'm pretty sure that an MKA 1919 mag will fit this Emperor I've uh, taken one of these MKA mags and stuck it in it and it will function with a bolt hold open on empty and I can manually load and, and uh, unload shells so I think that uh, it is compatible however the uh, manual does not tell me that so just kind of beware uh, so MKA 1919 got a traditional stock it's uh, a stock and the lower are all polymer made in one piece together the upper is a 7075 aluminum with an aluminum forearm got Picatinny rails on 369 and 12 on the top of this you can see the Picatinny just runs down the receiver you do have pop-up flip up sights on the front and rear and it comes with a 20 inch barrel and the end of the barrel is threaded for chokes and it does come with some additional chokes it uh, comes with a full mod and I think improved and here is your uh, gas ring it does come with a high velocity and low velocity gas ring what's in it right now according to what I've got here is uh, low velocity and this tool here is used to break down the gun down here there's a, it's a nut here that you need this tool to break it down you take that nut off you slide your your forearm off and then you can disassemble your receiver from your lower receiver uh, but that's that's the MKA uh, these are great guns you know they've been out for a long time they've worked out all the bugs they, they uh, uh, cycle great uh, just use the right rings with the right to uh, the gas ring with the right load you're shooting and these guns function just perfectly over here the Noble it is same um, same length 20 inch barrel and uh, but you can see right off the bat that it has a different buttstock. This is a more minimalist buttstock. It does have a cheek riser. You do have uh, slots cut in there for a sling as well as QD attachments for a sling. And it's built the same way, whereas the stock and the lower are all one piece. The upper is aluminum and uh, it does have same old flip up sights front and rear and the Picatinny runs the full length down the receiver and the barrel uh, the forearm here is vented now these are AR style 
uh, shotgun so you do have your traditional AR style here's your bolt open your bolt release here's your safety charging handle and your mag release over here just like on the uh, MKA no difference uh, only difference from that uh, as far as cosmetics over here on the uh, MKA it's got a little different style where this looks just like an AR as far as the bolt release over here um, on the Emperor here do have 3, 6, 9, and 12 uh, accessor uh, accessory rails on it so you can whatever you want to put on it and it has a flash hider uh, this is just screwed on to the barrel here you can take it off if you don't want it but it is a flash hider and to break this gun down you've got your uh, magazine nut here that you just screw this off and then you can take off the forearm and then you can break down the upper from the uh, lower here and uh, also you'll notice here you've got a swing attachment here on the front so on the MKA there is no attachments up here for a sling but I mean you have Picatinny so you can always add one uh, whatever you want to do and uh, you do have a sling attachment here on the back uh, both have uh, butt stocks that have recoil pad this is you know more of a traditional looking stock here and the uh, butt pad is shaped like that uh, over here on the Emperor this is kind of a, what I call a minimalist buttstock and I prefer this shape better uh, you know but that's all preference so Emperor does come with two five round magazines and these mags are just like the MKA except the follower has a little different shape to it but as far as, as, far as everything else it's the same I've uh, interchanged these two out into each gun and they'll both load and unload shells and hold bolt open on on an empty mag so I think it's it's compatible uh, so if you wanted to buy extra magazines for this Emperor I think you can buy MKA but I couldn't find that in the uh, in the uh, manual but uh, as far as my experimenting with it it looks like it will, it will work uh, these guns are about seven pounds unloaded and uh, they're basically selling for the same price point. The MKA has been around longer. Worked out a lot of bugs on it. This Emperor, I've never shot it. So I can't tell you. I have not seen any videos on this gun yet on YouTube. Of anybody doing uh, any field testing. You know, this is just an open box review here. Tabletop review, whatever you want to call it tonight. So I can't speak to it, but I can tell you Emperor Arms, I've been selling their stuff for about five years now, and they're easy to deal with if you do have any problems. Uh, I sell a lot of their firearms, and all of them have, have functioned and worked great, so I don't have any suspect that this one uh, would be any different. Um, they both come in this case. It's just a cheapo case. It's got the little sliders here, you know, four sliders on it to lock it. And uh, but they both come in this case and they're both about the same price so that's the differences if, if this guns out of stock and you want to consider this I think you'll be happy or vice versa uh, they are hard to keep in stock right now with this COVID buying binge we're going through and uh, but these will function good as home defense shotguns and uh, they're not too long you can maneuver around with them you've got magazines here that you can do quick reloads with a five round you know you can also buy 10 rounds you can even buy a drum uh, 20 I think it's 20 round drums that MKA makes or that are made for MKA so uh, just something there for you to consider so guys that's it uh, I uh, please like and subscribe if you have questions about these guns that I can ask, answer, just put them down in the discussion. Or if you want to add something to this uh, about these guns, please do. And if you have anything else that you need or want to know about uh, concealed arms and home defense, just give me a call, text me, or what have you. So, Emperor Arms Noble 1 MKA 1919 Match Pro. That's it, guys. As always, be safe and God bless.